Hey, it's Joel, and welcome to the Joel Homie Show, where today I'm going to be reviewing the Bachman Thomas & Friends Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle and scale electric train set. So today's review video is going to start off with a box overview, unboxing, and then I'm going to give you guys a nice detailed look at all of the models, including the Thomas model and the Annie and Clarabelle models, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the simplistics of all of the different components, like how to set up the track as well as the speed controller, and then I'll go ahead and give you guys a nice look at all of the models running. So let's go ahead and start off today's video with a box overview. Of course starting at the front. So here in the top left as you can see it says Thomas and Friends and then here we have the name of this particular train set which is of course Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle as you can see here in the cutouts in the front. And then in the bottom left we have a Bachman logo along with the 75th year anniversary sticker that is applied to the plastic. And then in the bottom right there we have our age recommendation and in the top right we have some caution as well as some warnings on some specifics of what to do and what not to do while operating this electric train set. And then on the back of the box, we have some similar information showing the nice little circle of easy track that we get here as well as what's included with the three models including Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle, the power pack as well as the speed controller and the cable to connect the speed controller to the track. And then if we go ahead and take a look at the top of the box, here we have some more things that we've seen with the name of the set Thomas and Friends and Bachman and then the bottom of the box is much the same only except here on the right hand side towards the middle we have our proof of purchase and then on the right hand side of the box here it shows you uh, the uh, little circle again and the size which is uh, 24 inches all around and then here it shows you that the easy track can just be clipped together which is well why it's called the easy track and then here on the left side of the box it shows you exactly what is included with one Thomas model one Annie model and one Clarabelle model as well as the speed controller power pack one of the special curve pieces to supply power and then we get 11 of the normal curve pieces so with that let's go ahead and get this unboxed and take a look at all the models so to open the box all we have to do is get something like a sharp item which I'm going to be using a switchblade here and all we have to do is cut off the productive plastic that is around the entire box we can go ahead and cut this off And I must say, this is a absolutely gorgeous box outside of the wrapping. You can see all the models very nicely, and I'm a big Thomas fan, so seeing something like this is just amazing. But either way, to get into the box itself, here on the back you have a little tab that you can go ahead and pull out. And once you have that tab pulled out, this entire side of the box will go ahead and fold open. And on the inside, we have a styrofoam insert that is holding everything in the set. And at this point, if you'd like, you can throw away the box, but I'll be keeping it to put the set back away and put it into storage, as well as I really like the box, so I'll be keeping it. But as I said, at this point, you can throw it away if you'd like. But here inside of the styrofoam insert, as you can see, we have all of our contents there with the power pack. There is the cable that goes from the speed controller to this special little curve piece here here we have our normal curves the speed controller and all of our models here and then on the back here we have our little instruction manual which basically goes through a lot of uh, do's and don'ts just some warnings how to be safe with everything and since this is a electrical toy but either way with that being said i'm going to go ahead and cut the tape on the side of this little plastic piece here and let's go ahead and get into all of this and take a closer look at these beautiful models So here I'm going to go ahead and use these little pieces of paper to pull the models out so that I don't risk damaging them. So here is our Clarabelle model. Now I'm going to set it aside and pull out our Annie model here, much the same way with this little piece of paper so that I don't risk damaging it. And there is Annie looking much the same, but once again, very, very nice. And then last but not least, here is Thomas, the absolute best part of this set undeniably. So we'll go ahead and take a closer look at those guys in just a moment, but let's go ahead and take a very quick look at what else we have in here before we go ahead and get everything set up. So here is our speed controller. 
Now, over the years, I've seen many different versions of these, but they stay very much the same. Here you have directional switch. Here is where your um, power pack will plug in directly from your wall outlet. And then here is where our red cable will plug in and go to this special piece of curved track. And then speaking of which, here is our power pack. As you can see here, this will just plug directly into your wall. And then here we have our curved pieces. So here we have two packs of, I believe, five, as you can see here. So we can go ahead and undo these in just a moment and set those up. And then in here, of course, we have the one special piece. So with that, now let's go ahead and take a nice detailed look at all the models before we set this up and get everything running. So of course, as his number implies, we're going to go ahead and start with Thomas. And so that I don't get my fingers in the way, I'm going to go ahead and use the cap to a pen to point out some of the smaller details. So we'll go ahead and start at the front of Thomas with his face, which is sort of representing his CGI face from the newer episodes. But either way, I think they did a very good job with the little CGI face there. It doesn't look creepy like some of the models that I've seen. And then here towards his running board, we have some grab irons as well as his lamp. And speaking of his running board, you can see the top is done in white as well as red on the sides. And then we have some black buffer details. And all of the components of this set are using the older couplers that I've seen on a lot of sets in the past. But you can change these out to uh, knuckle style couplers if you'd like to. And then moving to the side of Thomas here, we have a decal for his pinstripes as well as his nice little number one there. And considering the size, I think they did an absolute absolutely amazing job. The quality is amazing for how small these are. And then on his cabin here, you can see that his windows are lined in yellow with his whistles being painted silver with the same red pinstripes across the top of his boiler. And then on the side of his cabin windows, once again, we have the yellow lining. And then here at his coal bunker, right above that, we have the same yellow detail going above the windows there. And then we have a rear lamp as well as the brake hose and the same buffer detailings that we saw on the front and then of course the other side of Thomas is the same and the wheels unfortunately due to the size can't be cut out like the HO scale Bachman Thomas or some other larger models but either way they are still painted in the same blue as his main body and either way I think Thomas it looks absolutely amazing but either way with that let's go and take a look at Annie and Clarabelle. So of course, as expected, our Annie and Clarabelle models are actually much the same with just some slightly different decals on the sides for their nameplates. And I don't know if this goes for all sets or if it's just for mine, but you can see here that my Clarabelle model is actually a little bit more vibrant in color as opposed to my Annie, which is a little bit more dull. I don't know if that's in mine or if it's on all sets, but either way, it's uh, just something that I noticed. And then as usual, here our buffers are painted black with the bases being red. And then we have the decals for the their nameplates as well as some gold little details for some grab irons for the passengers and unfortunately there is no detail for any interior but all of the windows are a little bit fogged or like sandblasted something like that so you can't even see it inside so it's not a big deal to me but I thought I'd mention it and then all of the wheels are once again metal, so that'll be awfully nice. These models should roll really nicely. And then as I'd mentioned before, these do use the older couplers. And uh, of course, you can change these to knuckle style couplers if you like. But either way, with that being said, let's go ahead and set up the set and get these guys on track. So getting everything set up is a lot more easier than you might think, hence the reason that this is a beginner set. But either way, once you have your power pack plugged in, we can go ahead and plug this into the speed controller. And with these newer models, this should just light up immediately, as you can see there. And I'm going to go ahead and plug in this red cable, and then we'll go ahead and set up the track. So now that I have the red power cable plugged in, I'm going to unpack the track here and show you guys just how easy it is to set up Easy Track. So assembling Easy Track is as simple as grabbing two pieces and simply putting them next to each other and lining up these little metal pins for contact. And then you just want to run your fingers over them, double check that you have a nice smooth connection so that your trains won't derail, and then repeat these steps for the entire loop. So once you have the track set up, you want to plug in the red power cable via the special curve with the level crossing on top of it. And now we can go ahead and set the models on the track, making sure that all the wheels are on the rails so that we don't have any derailments. Right, so now that we have the models on the track, one thing to quickly know is that newer models like this when they're running for the first time might be a little bit rough for the first couple minutes of running, so they will get better as they run a little bit more. But with that, let's go ahead and see how Thomas and Annie and Clarabelle perform on my white table of Sodor.
And with that, I want to thank you all for riding these tracks to great destinations with this Joel Homie Show review of the Bachman Thomas and Friends of Thomas with Annie and Clarabelle and Scale Electric Train Set. If you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it, oh.